You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Over the past few days, it seems that everyone has a different opinion on whether Bullet Train was a good movie or not. Well, I'm here to say it's definitely not a good movie and just felt lazy on the whole. The plot of Bullet Train follows unlucky assassin Ladybug as he attempts to recover a briefcase full of money on the fastest train in the world. Unfortunately for him though, he must confront several other high profile killers in order to collect this money. While this plot does have some potential, the story seems to ironically wrestle between a comedy and a serious film, a combination that really just confused me as a viewer. I mean, the writers got so desperate after introducing boring character after boring character that they eventually give up and gave the Fiji water bottle the spotlight. And this brings me to the first major problem of this movie, in that it lacks depth. There seems to be no imagination in the film, as we never go into any interesting backstories regarding any of the main characters, and almost everyone seems to be motivated by greed. The story never really goes anywhere new, with assassins just being chucked onto the train for fight scenes until someone eventually wins. This isn't helped by the themes of luck and fate either, as they never allow for any connection to the characters, and once again just seem forced into the plot to try and give this movie some depth. It doesn't seem to relate to its audience at all, as the characters just seem to be killing each other left, right and centre, only to move on 30 seconds later to another fight scene. With all this being said however, you could argue that the plot is completely irrelevant in this film, and that it should be judged on its action and comedy. And while I do agree to an extent, does Bullet Train really do a good job at entertaining us? To talk about action first, I will admit the fight scenes were entertaining and fun at times, but they were also unrealistic, predictable, and cringy to the point of being lazy. Sure, ideas like the knife rebounding to kill the wolf and the pauses between fights when anyone enters the room are kind of funny and unexpected, but it just feels like they were forced in there as the writers have no other way of making the audience laugh with such bland characters. Yeah, it's okay to be a little unrealistic in a movie like this, but when we're questioning every detail of every single fight scene, the movie just becomes stupid and superficial. At least Bullet Train isn't afraid to kill off characters, so it does keep us slightly engaged, even if we have no reason to sympathise with any of the characters, and their deaths seem to have no meaning. To discuss its comedy, Bullet Train definitely hit the mark on a few points, with Lemon's Thomas the Tank Engine obsession and the sus bloke in the carriage being some of the highlights of this movie. I did find Ladybug's personality to be funny, and Tangerine and Lemon had some great chemistry as supporting characters, which made the movie all the more fun. Some of the ideas though, including the constant need to keep fights silent, and the comic book style personalities of the assassins, were just annoying and seemed forced in as filler to make the movie longer. I'm sorry, but the Prince, the Wolf, and the Hornet were also painfully unfunny, adding absolutely nothing to this film. Despite these flaws however, I still think the humour was the best part of this film, so it sucked that it tried to unsuccessfully be emotional, particularly towards the end of the film. Overall, while Bullet Train was a fun ride, it did feel like much of the film was lazily written, with its humour really carrying it to the end. Let me know what you thought of Bullet Train in the comments below, and make sure to check out the channel's other videos. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.